So guys, good morning. May uh, good morning everyone. <laughs> May nag-forward kasi sa akin na friend ko no na a video wherein um, an influencer is telling her in you know, gumawa siya ng video basically <laughs> to tell everyone that insurances are not for everyone and you don't need it. Parang ganun yung team niya. So Ika-clarify ko lang yung points for all the people that are in need of uh, quality information <laughs> regarding this subject matter. <clears throat> okay? Kasi I already made a long video. I will post it on YouTube. Pero that's 10 minutes long. So, <clears throat> ako, uh, magandang gawin ko siguro dito is I made a compressive video and a one that's full length. So, here's the compressive video. Enjoy! Okay, number one. Ang point niya is... Uh, title, not all people are in need of insurances kasi, number one, lahat na, hindi naman lahat ay may dependents. That's a good point, no? Uh, kasi hindi naman lahat ng tao willing magkaroon ng anak or willing magkaroon ng dependents in the near future or mag-asawa, if anyone else. <clears throat> but insurances are not designed for spousal or even, uh, tayo beneficiary applications. Hindi siya designed for that. It's designed for your protection. Ang uncertainties natin sa buhay, regardless of kung may anak ka or hindi, hindi yan namimili. So, you can, uh, ang gagamitin ko dito, argument, is yung uncertainties. You cannot predict that, no matter what age, no matter what income that you have, uncertainties will come. Okay? Kaya nga siya, hindi mapag-prepare na tayo kasi hindi alam natin kung kailan siya darating. Okay? <clears throat> Alright. Next point is, paano naman daw yung mga, ano, yung mga tao na hindi talaga kailangan ng... <clears throat> life insurances, ang kailangan daw nila is HMO. Actually, to be truthful, kailangan mo sila parehas. Kasi HMO and life insurances are designed differently. HMOs are designed for your consultation and confinement. And insurances are designed for long-term care. Kasi mayroong mga policies no, na even after the confinement procedure, kahit yung mag-home therapy ka, kahit yung medicine mo at home, they can cover you. These are called comprehensive health insurances. Okay? Comprehensive health insurance is ang tawag doon kasi they have riders and they have other VUL products have v, ano, fund values and critical illness benefits that are going to give you the money that you need if ever na ikaw ay na-diagnose ng critical illness. Okay? So, riders are one thing. Another thing is fund value. So, two main ways na makakakuha ka no? with insurances. Last thing is, ang insurances lang daw ay makakakuha naman dyan ay beneficiary mo or if ikaw ay namatay lang. That's an archaic form of looking at the insurance industry because right now, merong maturity benefit at merong living benefit. If hindi kayo naniniwala on those benefits, just use me as an example. Ako, nakapag-aral ako sa Mapuo with using the benefits of my mother's insurance plan. Okay, so that's a living benefit na naka sa education. Living benefit again, when I left my first company, I withdrew all of my, ano, tayo I withdrew all of my fund value from my existing policies. That's a living benefit kasi fund value yun. <coughs> So, ako right now, I'm working for another company rin with an insurance company. And all I can say is, insurance is, tama siya, no? Insurance is primarily an, in, an investment on protection, not an investment purely. Which is the whole point of having an insurance policy in the first place. <laughs> Kasi hindi mo alam kung kailan mangyayari yung uncertainty sa'yo. Uncertainties are either death, accident, sickness, old age, retirement. You don't know when all of those things will happen. Aside from, obviously, retirement. Kasi that's your choice. Pero the uncertainties in life, you don't know when they will come. no? So always look at insurances as if they're a spare savings account. Okay? Hindi siya pure investment na titignan mo siya on an ROI basis ng yearly, no? Or monthly for that matter. Kasi the mere fact that you paid your premium and the application has already been ito, approved, your premium isn't just what you're holding in that asset. Pati yung protection. So for example, you paid 1,800 pesos monthly. ba? Diba? What you're holding there is not 1,800 pesos worth anymore. That's worth 2 million or 2.2 million if pares tayo na age. So, 2.2 million, that's still big, di ba? For an uncertainty. Sorry. And last but not the least, I'm gonna tell you this because I am an FA, no? Not all people are insurable, okay? So, tama siya doon sa idea na insurance is not for everyone. Lalo na pag di ka na insurable. That's why we're urging the public na as long as you're healthy, as long as wala ka pa nararamdaman, as long as 
you are uh, on an occupation na hindi pa masyadong risky, you can still apply for your life insurance policy and get it as soon as possible because you don't know when these things will happen. And hindi namin yun ginagawa because it's a sales pitch. Ginagawa namin yun because that's a fact of life. No? We are doing that because we don't know when the things that we discussed already kanina will happen. So that's one thing. The other thing is we are field underwriters as well. Pag nag-apply po kasi tayo sa life insurance policy, hindi lang yan basta pumirma lang ako and then I paid for it and that's it. No. There's underwriting involved in it. Kaya nga siya risk management business eh, or risk management practice. So, when you are applying for a life insurance policy, you are actually subjected to underwriting. Not just you the client, but also we advisors are field underwriters and we are also interviewing you, getting your uh, information. Kasama po yan sa application. Bakit siya kasama? Kasi there are occupations as well, aside from health hazards, may mga occupations tayo na hindi pwedeng i-cover ng isang company. And if we cover that, mawawalan ng benefits yung other people. Kasi, pag na-cover mo yun, ibig, ibig sabihin, high risk siya, no? Pag na-cover mo yun, and dumami yung tao na na-cover mo ng high risk, your RCB uh, rating would drop. Ibig sabihin, mawala ka na reserve. Pag ka nangyari yun, at wala ka ng reserve, ano mangyayari? Mawala yung protection ng ibang tao. See? This is why a lot of people or a lot of insurance companies din are selective with their clients. Kasi not everyone can be protected as much as we want, no? To protect everyone, we can. That's the mere fact of life. And that is why I agree at some points na life insurance isn't for everyone. Because not everyone, not necessarily can afford, but not everyone may not be eligible to be insured anymore. And that's sad, no? Lalo na kung family member mo yun. Ako, as an advisor, masakit sa akin yun kasi my father is already uninsurable. So regardless if I earn millions or not, kahit anong premium pa yung itapat ko dyan, if my father is uninsurable anymore, wala na akong magagawa doon. <laughs> kasi health na niya yun eh. So, yun. Always make sure and make time for it. Uh, make sure in a sense na, make sure that you know every information that you have. Your advisor is eligible to share this with you, no? And, uh, tayo ito, make sure lang then that when you're investing in a company, you're also investing on the advisor that's going to uh, take care of you and your concerns. Yun lang guys. 